Are we ready right now? It's day five. Day five. And we're starting it off hot with some brother. A, a tradition for WrestleMania at this point, since WrestleMania 10, I believe. Brother versus brother. Started with Brett and Owen at 10. I'm pretty sure it was WrestleMania 10. And then 15 years later, we had Jeff versus Matt. WrestleMania 25, the 25th anniversary. Here we are at WrestleMania XL. WrestleMania 40, day 5, and I had to do it just like they're doing in real life. Brother versus brother, Yeet versus no Yeet, Bloodline versus Moved On, Jey Uso versus Jimmy. Because I just I had to. I wanted to create. We, we've done our own thing with this universe. We're kind of we've broken away. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. At this point, we're on day five, so the the Hall of Fame's happening. There's no telling what's happening since this has been recorded. But you gotta you gotta keep the yeet and the no yeet. I had to have it. I wish I could have the music to make this moment. But, you know, that's how it goes. Extreme Rules, extreme rules. Making his way to the ring. Two out of three falls, I believe. California, weighing in at 242 pounds. We'll make him work for it. Main event Jey Uso. And the last thrall of the bloodline. And they're going to duke it out. They're going to get it, whatever they got going on between them. Going to work it out today. Here we go. It's just me, Oos. Day one, I don't know what the lyrics are, but... Hey, 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 hey. No, look at it. I love that. <laughs> yeet versus no yeet. Jay and Jimmy gonna put on a clinic like the brothers before them. That like they've wanted this for a long time. They've earned it, in my opinion. Jay and Jimmy have been been putting in work for a really long time. If you think about it, singles division, tag division, especially Jay in the the singles division lately, definitely earned the moniker main event. And now he's got to take it to his brother. No yeet. No yeet. The bloodline might be. This could be a tale similar to what happened to Damage Control. I mean, they got more losses on their team than they got successes. EO pulled out a banger last night and somehow retained the WWE Women's Champion. I mean, Bailey did all right. It seemed like she got cocky. It seemed like she got too cocky and she lost it because she got too cocky. Because EO just came back with a second win and absolutely obliterated everything. But what if that's going to happen to the bloodline? Because you've got this this X Factor being the Wolf Pack. We've not met. You know, we don't really know much about this Wolf Pack other than they're here not to replace the bloodline, but to cure the WWE of the bloodline. It's time for them to end. So, I mean, this could be a bad start for the bloodline. This could be an omen, I guess. If Jimmy can't, you know, show the bloodline strength right now, you don't want the wolves to see you bleed. Ooh, so. All oh, these men deserve it. They deserve it in real life. They deserve it in our fantasy. And there goes Jay. Already to the outside. Extreme rules. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's two out of three falls. I know I've, I've booked more than one of those. I like that tradition. I miss it. Oh. Start with the legs. Oh. My brother said nope. Wait, no, he's yeet, not no yeet. Yeet. Come on, Jay. Yeah, start it off. Get the get this oh yeet. Get this started. Get the blood pumping for the the wolf pack to come in. Take the blood out of the bloodline. Oh, are you leaving, Jimmy? Oh. Stop it. Is this like the third time? I think the third or fourth time that they've stripped my announcer table and not used it for anything violent. Oof. Yeet. Oh, no yeet. No yeet. No yeet. See a one count. That's a no yeet. A one, not even a one, two, ooh, just a one, ooh. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Hey, he hooked the rope. He was like, no, big brother, little brother. 
I get confused, but I feel like Jay's the younger one. So you got a one two oo. One two oo oos. Fighting for the right to be oosie. Uh oh. No yeet. No yeet. I wish I could just commentate. Not acknowledge nothing. I got the Universal Championship behind me. Come on, you acknowledge that. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Put him in his place. Handle business, Jay. The Wolfpack will finish it. Oh, chair. Oh! Jimmy, no. No yeet. That's why you know yeet. That's what your shirt says. Oh, yeet. Oh, that yeet. Come on, Jay. You don't need this. It's your brother. It's still your brother. He's just under the spell. Roman Reigns snaps his fingers and off it mm, happens. Yeet. Yeet. No, uh -oh. no yeet. No yeet. Too early for yeet. I wish I could just call this in yeets and no yeet. No yeet. No yeet. Poor Charles, he's just doing work. Day five, Charles Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. No yeet getting. Oh, no yeet. No yeet. No yeet? Super kick. Super yeet. Now that could be the first fall. Or it could be an ooh. Not even a one ooh. Not a one two ooh. Just a ooh. An ooh into a power bomb. Ooh. Ooh. Into a turnbuckle power bomb and oh no yeet uh oh no yeet another chair yeah no yeet you shouldn't have taunted man come on yeet we want tables you get tables you gonna yeet that at him nope you're gonna get that smack out of your hand too no yeet no yeet Going for that soup. Oh, got him in the back of the head with the super kick. Going for the first fall. One, two, ooh. Well, no yeet going for it again. What are you doing now? Oh, God. Father, forgive me for I've sinned by leaving so many inanimate objects under the ring for these men to hurt each other with. No yeet. He actually connected with that one instead of face planting a table. Oh, 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 here comes Jay with the yeets. He ain't done yet. He ain't done yet, Oose. He knows he's got backup. You got Cody Rhodes. You got Jay Uso. Main event. You got the Wolf Pack. You got, oh, what? Okay, that table is in the way. Oh, oh. You got the Wolf Pack. You got Cody. The Wolf Pack's got Kevin Nash. And we know three more new people. A, f a girl bringing the Women's United so oh, the Women's Intercontinental Championship with her. But here comes Jay with a trash can, though. That changes things. Even though no weapon has gotten any farther than being pulled out and smacked out of the hand of the pull-out person. That yeah, pull-out game strong, but that's about it. Oof! I'm on now. Would Jay, uh, would get, stop a guitar now. A guitar, ooh, ooh, we about used that too. Little brother says, nope. I'm going to yeet it onto the barricade. No trash can, we're just going to litter. Oh, they're using the steps. You need to use them. Uh-oh. I keep seeing Steiner recliner happening, and it's not happening. It's bothering me. Maybe Braun Break will break one out for us. Oh. Jimmy with the kicks now. Oh, and Jay with the right. Oh, oh. Come with these uppercuts and super kicks. Ah. Big brother being mean. No yeet. No yeet. Mmm, those uppercuts and the super kick and uppercut, uppercut, super kick, super kick. Come on now, this is your, this is your little brother. This is your little brother you brainwashed by Roman Reigns and this bloodline nonsense because in 2020, he got a belt and went on like a crackhead level paranoid freak out and recruited you and recruited your brother and then sucked your little brother into it and now the Uncle Rock is into it. Like, come on now, don't go for the sledgehammer. No, it's your little brother. 
That could be one, two, ooh. Ooh. Nope, one, ooh. And baby, you ain't going down easy. This may not have been two out of three falls. I feel like they'd be trying for it a little bit harder. Oh, like, okay, Jay's coming back. Getting a little bit of momentum behind him. Fighting like brothers. Fighting like brothers. Oh, Fighting like brothers that don't like each other anymore. But this is for the bloodline. And that's it. That is not a good sign. The Wolfpack's got an uphill battle. Jay just took it from his little bro big brother. No yeet. Put him in his place. No yeet. Put him in his place. And the bloodline, they got their front. That's not how damage control started it. They started with a loss. Bloodline started with a win. So we'll see what the Wolfpack can do. Because next we got another fantasy booking for a WrestleMania event we never got. We did get this sort of in WCW but not not like this look at that there you go and we got two championships so we're putting up for this the traditional the NWA made it one of one 1965 Scott Steiner sold it in 2001 WCW well the just it was just the world heavyweight what was it the world heavyweight wrestling championship and the 1987, a lot of people call it the Andre the Giant world title, even though Andre never had it. But that big one that Bobby the Brain made them make in case Andre wore it because it was Andre the Giant. You saw him in day one. The belts don't fit him. But yeah. In my head, Hogan was kind of that, that early, well, mid to late 80s representation of that belt. The, the 1987 WWE or WWF World Heavyweight Championship. And then Ric Flair who won that NWA Championship, the WCW, the big gold like, what was it, 15 times? I think his record 16 now, but I don't know where that 16 came from. But I'm pretty sure the 15 was pretty legit. I remember as a kid here in 14, Maybe it just kind of tacked one on there every so often. But either way, this might be like a legendarium championship match. These two dudes are going to go at it. Whoever leave, or whoever wins is leaving with both of those belts. They will be the champion of champions because Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan will finally get their WrestleMania moment. And it's for big gold. Big golds. And this is two out of three falls. Pretty sure for all traditional rules. DQ on rope breaks that you know it's close to something we would have seen back in 1990 or something when it would have been awesome to see these two fight and we'll just see where it goes we'll see if it's woo or say your prayers and eat your vitamins or whatever take your vitamins I don't know I was never really into the Hogan thing I kind of I don't know I started to lean into it with the Hollywood phase but I'm pretty sure that was more because I like the whole NWO unit but either way, will Ric Flair go woo on a snitch, or will Hulk Hogan uh, I try not to be biased, but I don't know. I guess my commentary kind of gives it away. All right. So we got the WCW, NWA, whatever you want to call it, championship. Okay, definitely not the Universal, not that one. I'm not sure. Somebody flubbed there, but not that one. The WC, that one, right there, definitely that one. And the 1987 WWF World Title. One of these guys is leaving both of them. And that may start us a Legends program. There we go. Oh. God, I gotta get those belts from my collection. But that might start our Legends program. Because we got... If, if you go on to the WWE 2K website, you're gonna see... There's a roster of just Legends. Like, you can make a Legends game with just the roster. of With just the Legends roster. Make a whole game. Boom! We might be starting something here with this match. It's a fantasy booking. We talked about it on Facebook now we're getting it 
Mm, late 90s Hogan and Flair. Going at it for some late 90s belts. And then, I don't know, I'll make them run against like everybody. Every legend. One by one. You will defend. Hot potato with the legend belts. Every match is a defense. I mean, that could work, but it would be a little too akin to the hardcore title. But why not? We might do it. We'll just see where it goes. We gotta, I guess, crown a winner of this match first. Oof. Uh-oh. Oh. Flair getting mean. He getting mean. Dropping him elbows. Taking him back bumps like we all know Ric Flair couldn't take. Look at that. You know he couldn't do that. He would have had to take that on the side. Nope. Oof, he definitely would have took that not like that at all. No, Hogan, no. Come on now. Show some respect to the woo. Ric Flair don't go woo on a snitch by going down that easy in the first. Like, come on. Wine and dining, profiling, jet riding, kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, all that stuff. Leave my tables alone. Leave Corey and Michael alone. I don't care what you do with Byron Saxton. I don't think anybody does, but leave Michael and Corey alone. Oof. Leave his ribs alone. Mmm. Come on now. We're doing this traditional rules. Y'all gotta get back in the ring where it belongs. Come on. Don't make the referee come out there. Charles Robinson has been working overtime. Running these two out of three falls. Falls count anywhere. Now there's tables. And we got a hell in a cell. This guy's been in cage matches. He's getting paid the double overtime because it's ridiculous the amount of work this man's doing. Seven day WrestleMania, the Gamer Dad version. Mm, day five. 80s Hogan and Flair hip toss. That was beautiful. It's beautiful. Hogan bailing. He's done. Bails just to get him a second to get back in the ring. Uh oh. Only to take a pile driver. Oof. Folded like a lawn chair. You gotta get him off the ropes. Come on now. There you go. There you go. One. Two. Is this the first fall? Nope. 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 Hogan struggling. Flair putting a clinic on him here. Oh. That backdrop. Flair getting a win. You better get on top of him. You don't want Flair to get the woo going. He gets the woo going. They'll bottle that stuff up and start mass producing and selling it. Uh oh. Oh. He did the woo. He did the woo. I think Hogan's too close to the ropes. Yeah, that's not happening. We got a little bit too hyped up on the woo. Here we go. Styling and profiling. <laughs> yeah, but you got a match. Let's get back to it. See, you dropped that knee. And what happened? Now you get a backbreaker for it. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. Hogan's working hard to get his ass whooped right now. Oh, look at this. Look at Flair just styling and profiling. Oop, oop. Yeet. Oh, yeet. Poor Jay. Oh, the wolf pack. Oh, I'm worried now. Bad omen for the wolf pack. They might be coming into an uphill battle. And now Ric Flair's on the top rope because he'd be dropping knees. Dropping knees on Hulk Hogan from the top rope. That's where we're at right now. Yeah, get him away from the ropes this time. There, or just leave him. Hogan just reaching up like, please. Don't do the leg drop a better because it's a knee. Wait. Wait a minute. Oof. One, two, ooh. Oh. Flair getting mad. You gotta get him twice. You gotta get two falls, my guy. Oh. Here we go. Here we go with the woo. Now see this right here. Put him in the figure four. Get him to tap. Hit him. Call it a day. Bob's your uncle. Nope. Nope. Hogan didn't tap. So I'm gonna do it again. This is the way. If at first you don't succeed, children, try again. Look at it, he's torquing it. And Hogan still didn't give up. Look at you being all... Yeah. I want to give him credit. It's 
don't like it. Eat your vitamins and say your prayers, brother. I'm like, well, I don't want to do it now that you said it. See, look at that. That's why. Because you be all talking all this mess. Where them vitamins at now? You can give people the bad idea about prayer by you telling them to do it. Oh, oh. He came back. That was not going to be a quick two falls for Flair. Hogan's coming back. He just saw them championship, that gold, that money floating away, and now he's back in the game. Can't see straight, apparently. Oh, oh, boom. Textbook suplex, though. Now, see, at this point, if they get counted out, Flair wins. That's it. I mean, that'll be the second fall for him and the first for Hogan. Two out of three fall. Wait, I think Hogan's bleeding. Yeah, he's leaking. Flair ain't messing around. He's going to the top rope again because that makes sense. Let's pretend that's his knees from the top rope, man. That could be it. Hogan's taking two of those. I couldn't take one. Okay, pin him. Hogan might not. I don't think he's conscious. He's leaking all over the place. Get him out of my ring. Yeah, we still got one more match. Flair's proven. He's, he's starting this legend roster. We'll figure it out. We're going to get a program with Ric Flair carrying those belts. Both those belts. Yes. Yes. Ric Flash. It's going to be our legend champion. That's how it's going to go. And now we're going into my championship match. I was excited about this one. I wish we could have got it in real life. Even though Jade's going to SmackDown. Rhea's on Raw. It completely divergent from the booking WWE did. And that's fine because I wanted to see Rhea Ripley and Jade Cargill go at it at WrestleMania. Because man, that, that could have been, that would have been, maybe next year. Who knows? Rhea's just unstoppable right now. The, to me, and I mean this is my opinion, to me she is, she's unstoppable right now. She can't be stopped. She's won that belt well for a year. And nobody, you can't convince me anybody can really stop her. Except maybe Jade. You bring Jade into it and I'm like, eh, maybe. So this is what we're doing. Not the official version yet. But it's what we got. Jade Cargill. Rhea Ripley. WWE Women's World Heavyweight Champion Chip Ambulance Match Because that's how you finish Day 5 Ambulance Match With what I consider to be Two of the baddest women in this sport So let them fight Let them fight until they beat the crap out of each other To the point where one of them can be Securely locked into an ambulance And, and that's, that's how we'll do it Hated taking Becky out we, we talked about it, but we put her in the Legends match. And it's not like she's out of the program. This is just one one event. This will determine our, our Raw champion. So Cargill might just find herself shot back to Raw if she wins here. But Becky's Becky might see that world title around her way. So I think she'd look good with it. One person that's had that championship is Rhea. Boom. Well, that specific belt anyway. I love that belt. I'm looking at the one in my office, which is the black belt. But man, I love it. 60 gems on that center plate for 60 years of WWE. You got the lines. If you look on the bottom where there would have usually been a nameplate that they've done away with in lieu of side plates, there's a little lion head. And then on the sides, beside the big WWE centerpiece, two more lines. Those three lines being the McMahon family crest. Which, screw Vince, but, you know, we still like Stephanie and Shane. At the top of it, I doubt you're going to be able to see it, but if you know the championship, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's got the winged eagle. For those that know the winged eagle, you know. And then right under, you see the crown. The first superstar, Bruno San Martino. Record, you want to talk about records. I think at the time of this recording, I think, what, Roman, at, what's he at, like 1,300 and something? Bruno was, I think, over 2,800 days. That man held the championship. So they put his crown on there because it was a horribly ugly championship. 
small thin metal plates had like WWWF in a plate tacked onto it and then world and then champion just plate 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 crown champions it has certainly come a long way since then but there's your history lesson for Rhea and Seth's belts as the ambulance backs into the ring Mr. Charles Robinson oh man that That's it. That's it right there. The remaining superstar will be declared the winner. And will be the now, women's world heavyweight champion. Let Charles stay in the ambulance. I didn't think about getting any other referees. Look at it. See, now you can see the crown. You can see all of what I was just talking about. <clears throat> From Tampa, Florida, Jade. Jade Cargill can't wait to get that character in the game officially. Love this call though. Rhea freaking Ripley. Cause that's what a boss looks like. I love Sasha Banks in the Mandalorian. I miss her on WWE, but I don't know what. I don't know what happened with that AEW promo. He had me by my heartstrings for a second, and then it just felt really weird listening to her talk about her WWE accolades in a promo for AEW. Boom. That's what it's about right there. Somebody's leaving with a belt, and somebody's leaving in an ambulance. Here we go. That's a big ambulance. Uh-uh. Why is there a ladder? There's a ladder on that ambulance. Why are they already over there? The match just started. We should not already be in front of the... No. No. In front of the ambulance, slamming her head into the steel. Or into the concrete floor. Yeah, there's a padding. Yeah, a couple inches. You're still getting your head slammed into a concrete floor. Mmm. Come on. Oh, 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 Rhea. Now they're going under the ambulance. But that's why I wanted this match. That's why I booked this in my fantasy. Because these girls got no chill and I want to see them do it. Just go at it. With an ambulance. I'd be totally down for like an ambulance match. I could have easily made this a casket match. Maybe the winner will give the defender or the loser a rematch, a casket match. I haven't done a casket match yet. I really need to do that. Mmm. Whoo. Maybe we need two ambulances. One to determine the winner and then one to take whoever doesn't end up in the first one. Because this is already starting hard. I'm scared. Rhea's doing the thing she does. Starting to manhandle Jade Cargill. This is hard for me to watch. Hard for me to believe. Look at her just picking her up and getting a freaking ambulance. You're done, girl. This can't be it already. <clears throat> yeah, Jade's crawling back. This is not. No, no, no. Yeah, this ain't over yet. We did not pay to roll that ambulance back with death. Charles Robinson is asleep behind the wheel of that ambulance right now. Y'all ain't done yet. Oh, oh! See, that's the Jade thing is smart. I'm not trying to put her straight into the ambulance. Try to put in that work first and get her back in the ring, weaken her, do some damage, and then come back and assess the idea of putting her in an ambulance. Then Rhea's like, "No, ambulance, ambulance now!" Stun her back to the ambulance. Rhea, nut, stop it! Double axe handle from. Just the heavens to the gates of hell. Now back under the ambulance, refilling herself. Needs to turn around. Should have turned around. Oh, okay. Yes, Jade's like, I'll play by your game. Get in the ambulance. Oh, did you hear that? She's like, you done here, girl. That's my belt now. I'll take it to SmackDown. Do what I gotta do. Rhea popped up. She didn't have it.
I'm not sure what that was supposed to German to the floor. Whew. But that concrete's nice and cold. Back in the ring. <laughs> What's Jade? Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you going under the ring? Y'all don't need no weapons. There's an ambulance. There's a literal freaking ambulance. Stop with the posing. Y'all pose too much. You're just superhero landings. Okay, and then you do a close one like that. Hmm. Rhea's mo just move set. She's a nightmare. I need this. I'm pretty sure they just said Rhea's gonna kill you. No, she's not. She, there's an ambulance. She'll be fine. Why is everybody stomping on each other's hands? This is madness. I've completely forgotten that this is a, a championship match. These women are supposed to be fighting for a belt. Then back into the ring. F a shovel. Why is there a shovel under my ring? And Jay's not having it. Like, get this girl away from the shovel. Get the shovel away from the girl. Rhea Ripley. Hmm. Mounts her and just pound her head, enter to a shovel. Cause there's a shovel present now. Uh oh. Oh. God, these elbows. And Jake feeling herself. I keep hearing her laugh. Is she about to choke slam Maria Ripley? Oh, you kidding me right now? Rhea hits an elbow and reverses the choke slam. I don't, uh, that hurt my heart. I needed that choke slam a little bit. Stop it. Stop it. Now, Sledgehammer. Get some help. Jade. Yeah. Okay. Do we get. Alright. We get it. Okay. Girl, we get it. You've made your point. You can stop now. Anytime. Anytime. Nope. The Rhea, yeah. Somebody get an ambulance, please. I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm getting uncomfortable. I should go drop her on her face on the concrete again. This hurt. This is pain. I don't know how to deal with this. She just gonna power bomb her into the back of the ambulance. You done here, Jade? Oh Primity. Oh man. Day five has been hard. All three matches. Even Hogan and Flair, like Flair went, oh, wait, door one shut. Jade, Jade, you this is your last chance at the championship right now. Oh, well, in this particular match. Open that door. You break through that door like the force of God. There you go, Spartan kick. She will suplex her in there. Look at that brain buster they're both down conveniently at the back of the ambulance and now one of these ladies isn't going to be able to fight their way back out a couple more times getting shoved in that thing and having to try to just fight off the resistance from that thing oh threw her in there from that thing latching shut Rhea no look at that look at her muscles right there Look at the battle between these two women right now. Look at Rhea's arms. That is insane. She just torques her way out. Absolute madness. Neither of these women got the pump handle. Rip tied. It's, oh, you can't pin her. That's not how this works. One of you leaves an ambulance. Two of you can, but maybe two separate ones would be better. Just yeet, turbo yeet straight back into the ambulance. But you gotta remember, Rhea's taking the shots from the sledgehammer. Just, oh, this might be it. 
I think Jade's done. That first, she hit her with that first door. She hit her. Look at those arms, though. Back it. Back to this skin. Oh, I like watching Greek gods fight over a belt. It's like a Ryan's belt. That's why there's a center plate and two side buckles. Oh! Her head. No. Now she might be ready for the back of the ambulance. Yeah, but I think Rhea sees that. And now she's in the ring. I don't even know how to make what to make of that. Rhea, no. Will you people stop it? Now baseball bat. Rhea did take some shots with the sledgehammer, but not a baseball bat to the skull. Come on, Jade. Oh my Louisville slugger. Are you kidding me? Clothesline, clothesline, baseball bat. Jade trying to fight back. Rhea is a fighting champion. Look at this. Here's, it doesn't matter. There's no tapping. There's no tapping. I want to tap for you. I throw in a towel even though it means nothing. She's tapping, but it means nothing. Oh, that's not a good sign for Jade. She just threw in the metaphorical towel. It was literally metaphorical. You got to go in the ambulance if that's how it ends. Rhea, the back of the ambulance is where you're supposed to. Why is there a ladder on my ambulance? Why? Why are you up there? Nope. Nope. This is 50 shades of nope. This is worse than nope. This is worse than the movie nope. Ah, uh, then Jade just gonna fall her right up there. Look at it. I can't do this. I want a champion. And I'm scared. I don't like this. Ugh. slammed an ambulance. I want that choke slam, but not on an ambulance. Nah, 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 nah. Mm. Rhea fell at the right time, girl. Y'all get it. There's a ladder. Y'all get atomic drop. And Rhea just springs up and in a blink of an eye is stomping out of the person just atomic dropped her on the top of an ambulance. Look at this. Look at this right now. This right here. This right here. This right here. I can't. I can't. And she's tapping again. Tapping out on the ambulance. Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing now? Uh uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm lost. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that's it. Please put her in the back of the ambulance. We gotta get her to the hospital now. That's it. That's it. So ladies and gentlemen, day five ending with probably internal bleeding, but with the retaining Rhea Ripley for heavyweight women's champion, women's world champion, whatever they're calling that belt, the women's world championship. Yeah, no, Jade. There's no way she's got anything left. There's no way she can fight this for long. Wheel her out. Get her out of here before she get... Yeah, go. Before the ambulance is... Like, Charles Robinson is sleeping that thing. You don't know what's going on. And still your champion. That's day five. Day five, we got who sets of some main event type stuff coming. So if you've stuck with me this long, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, share with all your friends, and hopefully I'll see you for day six we will do wrestlemania weekend alongside the real thing they'll be doing their thing we'll be doing our thing i hope you enjoyed yourself hope we see you next time wrestlemania saturday let's go